please subscribe like and share and press the bell icon to get notifications well students this video will cover the following areas in this video i'll be teaching you construction of algebraic expressions using algebraic symbols in my previous video i showed you what are algebraic symbols and not only that i'll be teaching you uh, how to find the value of algebraic expressions containing one unknown of coefficient by substituting a whole number for unknown term so now let's move into the lesson and clarify all the doubts in this lesson okay expressions which contain an algebraic symbol are called as algebraic expressions so i taught you what is algebraic symbol in my previous video so this is called algebraic expression let's move in example and let's see what is uh, what are more on algebraic expressions uh, anna has five dolls and bella has four dolls so if i ask you to find the total number of dolls you will surely add them because Anna has 5 and Bella has 4. Total means addition. You have used the symbol, algebraic symbol of addition. So 5 plus 4 is 9. So likewise, if I say that Stella had 4 dolls and she received a bag full of dolls from her neighbor on her birthday. Okay, she had 4 dolls already. But on her birthday, surprisingly, she received a bag full of dolls from her neighbor. But unfortunately, she doesn't know how many dolls were inside. Then what can we do? Here, we have to apply the algebraic symbol unit. Because in this case, you have to take the unknown term. That means the number of dolls in the bag is unknown. No, that unknown term can be taken as an algebraic letter. So here, number of dolls that Stella had is 4 dolls. We knew that. So number of dolls in the bag, it is unknown. Even Stella doesn't know how many dolls are inside the bag. So it is an unknown term. So we can put a letter for that like I took here X letter. So what is the total number of dolls Stella have now? 4 dolls and X number of dolls. So total means you have to add therefore 4 plus X. You can write this 4 plus X as X plus 4 also no problem. Okay. So this is the expression or algebraic expression I have constructed for this question. Now let's move into another example and in this example I'm taking something interesting I like I think you like this uh, so 10 color pastels are taken away from a pastel box and they are asking to construct an algebraic expression for the remaining pastels in the box for this now see we they have not given the total number of pastels so we have to assume a letter an algebraic letter so I'm taking here P letter so let's assume the total number of pastels that were in the pastel box as P so total number of pastels is equal to P and number of pastels that were taken were 10 therefore what is the remaining number of pastels it's very simple always remember when somebody asks you it what is remaining it is subtraction so the algebraic symbol what we have to use here is subtraction and total number was p taken were 10 therefore p minus 10 is the remaining can you understand now let's take a little bit of complicated example the price of a dragon fruit is rupees t I had rupees 150 in my hand. So, if I say you that the price of the dragon fruit is less than the amount that I had in my hand, then how much will I save after buying the dragon fruit? Children, when you read a question like this, first of all, write down the data. The price of the dragon fruit is given. So, write down the first statement price of a dragon fruit equal rupees t. Learn to write statements and answer the question so that you will gain more marks. The next statement is amount that I had in my hand is rupees 150. And I told you that the dragon fruit is not uh, more than the amount that I had in my, had in my hand. So, if I buy the dragon fruit with the money I had, what amount will be remaining? Remaining means subtraction for sure. So, 150 minus T will be the amount. So, now in the substitution, uh, let us consider an algebraic expression m plus 5. So, that is my expression I am going to take to explain substitution. So, the expression is m plus 5 and I am giving the value for m as 4. So, if m is 4, you can write 4 instead of m so m plus 5 can be written as 4 plus 5 and 4 plus 5 is 9 so here what i do i substituted m as 4 this is known as substitution well now let's move to the example 
the daily income of both a father and a mother of a certain family is rupees 850 plus x now you know some in some families both the parents are working so father is also earning mother is also earning so in this family father is earning 850 rupees per month or uh, no sorry per day or for, for a day and mother is earning x amount x means an unknown amount they have not given us the amount therefore instead of that amount they have given us x therefore uh, the amount that father earned per day is 850 and amount that mother earned is x rupees so here rupees 850 is the father's daily income x represents the mother's daily income and on five days of a certain week that means monday to friday the mother's daily income was that means on monday she earned 600 rupees on tuesday 550 rupees wednesday 435 rupees thursday 525 rupees and friday she earned 515 rupees respectively so they are asking us to find separately the total income of the family total income means father's income plus mother's income on certain separate five days so what we have to do here is we have to substitute the amounts given for the five days as the amount of x so students how to write the answer for this first of all you have to write the data clearly father's amount is 850 rupees mother's amount given as x rupees so let's say the five days as monday to friday so here x is given five different values for five different days so we have to just substitute x so total on monday is 850 rupees that is father's income plus mother's 600 rupees income and that will give to 1450 rupees and likewise tuesday father's income 850 because father's daily income is 850 there is no change in that one but mother's income changes so mother's 550 plus father's 880 will give you 1400 rupees so similarly you have to calculate the amounts for wednesday thursday and friday so what is the main equation i used here 850 plus x is my main equation i substituted the five different values for the five different days with the father's amount and i took the total amount for the uh, separate days so this is known as substitution so i hope that this video helped you to understand how to construct algebraic expressions and how to substitute the algebraic expressions uh, and uh, these questions are more than enough to understand the lesson i guess and uh, please practice more questions on this thing this is very easy and this basic is very important for you to your future studies for your gc all level examination as well so understand it very well and i hope this video helped you to understand this lesson thank you Please subscribe, like and share and press the bell icon to get notifications.